fight night at MSG. Anthony Joshua against Andy Ruiz Jr. Limited seating still available. Always special to have fights at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden. And we're joined now by Steve Farhood, who analyzes boxing for Showtime, along with John Wallace, of course. And great to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by. What do you think about the Saturday night's fight? Looking forward to it. It's, it's historically important because basically every great heavyweight in history has fought at the Garden at some point. And not only is Joshua making his Garden debut, but he's making his American debut. So I think this is something that probably should have happened a while ago to raise his, uh, his exposure in America. But now he's doing it, and uh, it's going to be hopping. Steve, what is your five best fights that you've seen at the Garden? Best fights, uh, I'll, I'll pare it down to heavyweight fights. Of okay. course, March 8, 1971 is a date that comes to mind right away because it was Ali Frazier won. And not only was that one of the best fights, actually, I think their third fight was even better, but that was, a, that was the biggest fight in boxing history. Nothing's come close, and young people today can't even appreciate how big a fight that was. That stopped the world. Yes. And then there have been a lot of other fights. Jack Dempsey had a fight against Bill Brennan that was underrated. Um, Larry Holmes had a great fight at the Garden against Mike Weaver. Nobody knew who Mike Weaver was, and Weaver came very close to knocking Larry out. That was out. a good fight. I remember that. Very fight. good fight. And then Joe Frazier fought Jerry Quarry twice. The first time they fought was at the Garden, and two left hookers just left hooking each other <laughs> all fight. Jerry Quarry was a pretty tough guy at that point. Don't hook with a hooker, It wasn't right? tougher with Joe. Don't hook with Joe Frazier. And that was one of the all-time greats because they just tore into each other the whole time. All right, fight. let's take a look here at the, what you were just talking about. You're ranking top five best heavyweight fights at MSG. Frazier defeating Ali and on down the line. And, and to put this in a little bit of perspective, John L. Sullivan, the first renowned and acknowledged heavyweight champion, fought in the Garden in the 1880s. So when you're talking about Garden heavyweight fights or Garden fights, period, you're talking 130 years. So obviously nobody can match that. And there have been so many great fights in the Garden. And uh, those are the five, not necessarily the biggest five, but the best five heavyweight fights. Now, where are we now in the heavyweight division? Obviously, Anthony Joshua is fighting in this country for the first time. Deontay Wilder is waiting in the wings, potentially, I don't know, for a potential Joshua fight, but he just signed to take on uh, Luis Ortiz. Will we ever see Wilder and Joshua, you think? You know, I can only go by boxing history, and boxing history suggests that when the money is right, and the money certainly would be right for this fight, I mean, they're, they're going to open the vault. The money's been right. The money's been right. <laughs> it, it, fights tend to get made. There are very few. I mean, you could argue Mayweather Pacquiao got made a little late, you know, five years too late, whatever. Um, it still did tremendous business. So I think because of the money and the economics, everything else is almost secondary. The fights will get made. And I like what Joshua said this week to the public. He said uh, to a member of the press, he said, I want to sit down with Wilder alone. and We'll work this out. And if they sit down alone, they're going to be two businessmen. Because that's how Mayweather and Pacquiao end up exactly. getting a deal They saw each other in an NBA game, I think, Absolutely. if I remember correctly. And down in Miami, in the Miami Heat game. And the other thing to keep in mind for fans who are desperate to see this fight, and it would be a fantastic fight, whenever you read anything in the paper, whenever you hear anything in the media, in terms of negotiations, throw that out. The real negotiations are always private. And if things are going on private and you don't hear about it for a while, that's a good sign. That means they're getting closer. And what do you think about Saturday's fight in terms of strategy, how does Joshua fight? How is Ruiz gonna, Jr. going to approach things? What should we look for if we're going to, as boxing fans, look forward to what we're going to see? Well, Joshua, the first thing fans are going to see is the huge difference in, in uh, body type. Because Ruiz is chubby. <laughs> now, don't let that fool you. He's a good boxer. He's fast. He's tricky. I think he could give Joshua trouble for a little while. But Joshua's pretty technically sound. Um, he's a body beautiful. He's a big guy, six foot six and, you know, two feet. 40 or whatever. Um, so I, I think it'll take a while, but I think he'll eventually wear uh, Ruiz down. And don't forget, Ruiz is a substitute opponent for a New Yorker who foolishly tested Jarell positive Miller, yeah. for about three different drugs. Jerrell Miller blew $7 million. Um, it, would have been, it would have added a little more to this event had it been Jerrell Miller, because Jerrell Miller is from Brooklyn. And that would have, you know, it would have been pretty cool to have a New Yorker in the, in the fight. Now, who's your best heavyweight of all time? If you had to pick one guy you got to put all your money on it. You got, you're, you're trying to double up. You need to double up in your life. You need to double up. <laughs> I'll you tell you, on. there are only two that lap the field, and that's Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali. They are far better than anybody else, and I will argue that to the death. I would pick Ali because of the quality of his competition. You know, he fought for a long time, and he fought the best. a couple of different eras of, of fighters. But just the best. But to fight Frazier, to fight Foreman, to fight Norton, to fight Patterson, to, he fought everybody. And Joe Lewis, on the other hand, while he fought a lot of good fighters, he also had what they called the bum of the month club, 
where he fought so often. Yeah. In those days, you didn't wait six months to fight or nine months to fight. He fought so often that they couldn't find anybody worthwhile for him to fight. <laughs> and he fought, you know, your dry cleaner and your ice cream guy. And, and that, that was the bum of the month. I fight my dry cleaner all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have had boxers here periodically getting ready for the big night on Saturday. And we know you break it down for Showtime. What do you, what do you see here for me? Oh, boy. Well, first of all, Southpaw, right away. I no. See, that. that, see I'm, that's a problem. I'm not oh, a Southpaw. I hope Jerry didn't hit you. <laughs> no, I hope Jerry not. didn't hit you. <laughs> Jerry's showing you a jab. And he's being nice. I, I could tell you that. Steve, you're not impressed. I, I'm not overly impressed, but you know what? You do what you do better than Jerry does what he does, so, you know, it's even. But, but Bill, you got to turn your wrist. As you See, I got oh, here we go. Against right Joshua. Well, you had Joshua on. Okay, yeah. look, at, look at that see? body. Jesus. <laughs> so you don't see me uh, on a fight card anytime soon, I think you? you need work, but if you want, I'll get a contract and we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll handle you. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.